Clyde. I know you're still following me, but you're never gonna find me. Do you hear me, Clyde? Give me a fresh horse, and you'll never catch up to me. Don't catch up to me, Clyde. Don't kill me, because I don't want blood on your hands. Not ever, Clyde. Keep them clean. Please keep them clean. Morning, friend. Good morning. You been riding far? Oh, just out from Barsdale, about a mile or so back. Sure looks like a real get-up-and-go horse you got there. Yeah, he's a pretty good boy. I'd like to make you a real good deal for him. Sorry, money couldn't buy my horse. The way I deal, mister, doesn't leave a man much room for saying no. Uh-uh. You better give me your answer again, mister. Am I gonna get me a fresh horse, or are you and me gonna haggle? Johnny Yuma was a rebel He rode through the west Did Johnny Yuma the rebel He wandered alone Johnny Yuma You buy all your horses with a gun? Now take out your gun with your left hand. Stop it. Get out. I said put it to bed. This one barks a lot louder. You come just in time to grab yourself a horse thief, Sheriff. He was trying to steal my animal. Oh, he's right, Sheriff. I just held up a train. She had 16 men. I'm making a getaway. See my horse? See how hard he's been ridden? He's dry. Well, that's my horse, Sheriff. His is over there, lathered all blowed out. It's easy enough to check on the ownership, Sheriff. You, take a step back. Put out your right hand. What's your name? Yuma, Johnny Yuma. Step forward. Put out your left hand. What's your name? Trasco. Where are we going? In the Barsdale. There are ways of finding out who owns the horse. All right, I'll take your gun now. But first. All right, drop the gun, Sheriff. Go on, drop it. Now you unlock these bracelets. The key to those shackles is in my office. I never carry it with me. That's why in 20 years I've never lost a prisoner. Give me the key, Sheriff. You haven't got a prayer, mister. <laughs> Search him, find the key. If I had a longer arm, I could go through his desk drawer. He's not here. All right, look at his boots. Hear them? Hear what? 
to hear a sound. Well, you're not listening the way I am. All right, come on now. We're going south to the border. Come on up. You expect us to ride a pair of horses linked up like this? When you get a hold of this gun, you may you'll be the boss. Until you do, you mount up. You want to chase after him? Trasco, you got eyes like an owl and ears like a coyote. Who are you looking for? Come on. Listen, like it or not, we're both in this together, right? We got to get out of it some way. I got nothing against you. I'm on your side all through the war. I'm pulling for the South. Is that right? And that's where we're going now, Mr. South. As long as you got that talker, I won't win many arguments, will I? Now you're smart enough. Be something that wagon had to help. Will it be chained up like this? Nobody's gonna keep me chained. Can't bust tempered steel with soft nosed bullets. Yuma, you know what tempers steel? Fire. Do you know what untempers it? More fire. We're going to melt down long before that steel does. Come on. Still holding. 
Why don't you try another shot? You've been counting the shots, Yuma. You know I've only got one shot left in my gun. I need two hands to reload. I don't figure you'd let me do that. You figured right, Trasco. If you did a lot of shooting with the one that's tracking you, I'd get caught in the crossfire. And I want to stay healthy. Now, who's after you, mister? What makes you think anybody is? It adds up. You had an awful big urge to get a fresh horse. And back there, you kept looking over your shoulder like a scared man. Anybody who does that is running away from something. And it started long before you pistol whipped that sheriff. If I'd have known then what you just told me, I'd have shot him down cold. Would have saved me a dirty job, Mr. Pruitt. How far have you tracked him? Across three states and territories. But I'm gaining on him. Well, he'll be slowed down now. He's afoot, handcuffed to another man with heavy shackles. Where's the key? Now, you're doing a shooting. You're liable to hit the other man, a fellow named Yuma. I'll be careful to hit who I aim at. Thanks for the key. You won't unlock him while he's alive. I'll bet on that. One way or another, Mr. Pruitt, I will unlock him. Who's chasing you, Trasco? Clyde, please don't catch up to me. I'm saving one bullet for hard times. But please don't make me use it. Clyde, please don't make me. Clyde? Who's Clyde? He's my brother. He's my twin brother. Check. Maybe there's something I can use. You're attacking a strong box with a hairpin. These things can't help you. I gotta get free. I got to. <laughs> Why's your brother Clyde chasing you? Are you acquainted with your Bible, Yuma? We're on pretty good terms, I guess. It says, deliver me from the hands of my brother. For I fear him lest he will come and smite me. I flee from the face of my brother. Quinn just don't kill his own brother. Well, he's too close for that. You and Clyde look-alikes? Like peas in a pot? No, I'm better looking. Ain't that right, Emma? Huh? Ain't that why you kept siding up with me all the time you were still married to Clyde? Oh, it's all your fault, Emma. She started everything, didn't she, Yuma? Yeah, I guess she did. And you knew about it, too. Sure, I know. When Clyde went to war, she asked me to take his place. Now, she married Clyde because he was my twin, but he was second choice. I was the one she wanted. But I didn't care dust for Emma, and that riled her real good. I was scorned woman. She's a mean one, Yuma. They say hell hath no fury like one. Now, I never went near her when Clyde was away. 
But when he came back, she told him I tried to make her go away with me. And when she turned me down, I, I beat her up. And then Clyde's come looking for me with a gun. Well, I started running. And I've been running a hundred years, it seemed like. Clyde, he just keeps coming. Dresco, why do you keep running? Why don't you face up to your brother and tell him she framed you? Well, he believes her story, not mine. She wants Clyde to kill me. But she hates us both now. She hates me because I wouldn't have nothing to do with her. She hates Clyde because she had to settle for him instead of me. But she won't tell him the truth till after he's killed me, his twin brother. And then she'll just sit and laugh and say that he killed an innocent man. I know what Clyde will do after he learns the truth. Because you see, I know how his mind works. It's just the same as me. Now he'll kill Emma, and then he'll hang. I fear him lest he will come and smite me. Some more. I won't have Clyde hanging from any tree limb with a tormented soul. I won't! This ain't no hairpin that's will bust us loose. That cast iron's gonna break apart. You can't beat it that way. Your fault, Huma. You're gonna make up for that. I'll find a way. There's a barn over there. Well, there's a barn. Maybe there's tools. A vice, maybe. Chisel and hammer. Well, you better hope there is tools, Huma, because that barn is your last chance. Now, come on. need now is a cold chisel. Take a look in that chest. What are you trying to do, bring somebody down on us, making all that noise? Slipped. Shut up your barking, you fool dog. If there's anything worth stealing around here, you wouldn't make a sound. You're gonna need two hands to cut yourself free. I got two hands, Yuma. Not without my help, you haven't. I'll trade you my help for your gun. What do you want my gun for? To keep from getting shot when you don't need me anymore. I don't need you now, Yuma. Drop it, mister. I said drop it. You mean jailbirds? Yeah, if you take us back to Barsdale, the sheriff will buy you a dinner. It's all Emma's fault, Clyde. She started it with all those dirty lies. The 
don't you bloody your hands like I just did, Clyde. There's blood on your hands, all right. The man's dead. Look, I didn't want it to happen this way. But I'm gonna kill you and keep right on running. down, Trestle. Now, we got a long ride back. Better get started. You ain't Clyde. You ain't my brother. What did I do to my brother? Oh, I'm tired of running. I hated having to shoot a man that wasn't right in his head. He got a bad deal all the way around. Aren't you his brother, Clyde? No, I'm not. I'm a deputy from Delgado. This man is Clyde Trasco. See, when he came home from the war, his wife Emma told him a lie that turned him against his own brother. What happened? Clyde here killed his brother. Then when his wife told him the truth, he kind of went berserk and killed her too. I suppose in his mind, he took his own brother's identity. He told me the whole story, only like it hadn't happened yet. Like he was trying to keep it from happening. And he didn't know he was Clyde. He was just running from himself. Deliver him that smote his brother. He shall die for the life of his brother whom he slew. What's that? No, no, nothing. It's just something an acquaintance of mine once said. And leather tough if he figured that he'd been pushed enough to rebel. John Yuma! This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Oh,